Did you know that Ron Barron claimed the Tesla will go up 500% until 2030? Barron is a known Tesla bull, so many might say that this is a bit of a stretch. However, most investors, but not all, agree with Barron that Tesla is bound for more success in the years to come. Stay tuned and keep watching to find out what Barron has to say. Like they have always been, some investors remain bullish on Tesla stock, while others argue that the leading EV company will soon be overcome by its competitors. Among those who firmly believe in Tesla's potential is billionaire investor Ron Barron. In today's video, you will find out why Ron Barron said that Tesla stock will go up 500% until 2030. Ronald Stephen Barron, simply called Ron Barron, is a longtime Tesla bull. Barron is an American mutual fund manager and investor and is the founder of Barron Capital, an asset management firm focused on delivering growth equity investment solutions. Ron founded Barron Capital in 1982 and has 52 years of research experience. From 1970 to 1982, Ron worked for several brokerage firms as an institutional securities analyst. From 1966 to 1969, Ron worked at the U.S. Patent Office as a patent examiner while attending George Washington University Law School. From 1965 to 1966, Ron worked at Georgetown University as a teaching fellow in biochemistry. Ron graduated from Bucknell University with a BA in chemistry in 1965. The buy and hold investor's $10 billion flagship fund, Barron Growth, has an annual turnover of just 3%. Barron also owns one of the biggest estates in the Hamptons, which he assembled from 2001 to 2009 at a total cost of $152 million. It's worth much more now. Ron Barron's real time net worth is $4.2 billion. Barron's two biggest holdings in his flagship $8.7 billion Barron Partners Fund are Tesla, which is 44% of the portfolio, while SpaceX holds over 5%. In an interview with CNBC in 2018, the billionaire investor said that the electric car maker could be a $1 trillion company in revenue by 2030. This may not be too far from the truth, given that Tesla reported a reported total revenue of $16.934 billion in its 2022 quarter two financial report. Of course, there are a lot of factors that may affect the EV company's stock, so it is not easy to tell whether Tesla will indeed become a $1 trillion company in revenue by the end of the decade. I think it could be a $500 billion battery business, a $500 billion car business. I give that better than a 50-50 chance. The billionaire buy and hold investor said, the fact that it could be a six billion dollar company in three years, I give that maybe an 80% chance. He added, on a recent segment of CNBC's Squawk Box, Barron Capital CEO Ron Barron said that he plans to hold Tesla stock for another eight years at least. I think we're going to make three, four, five times our money on Tesla from here, Barron said in the said interview. Investing legend Ron Barron has been holding Tesla in his portfolio since 2014, well before the company's stocks rose to new highs for the auto industry. Barron explained that he invested $380 million in Tesla between 2014 and 2016, at an average price of around $40 a share, so his return is about 20x so far, or about $6 billion. Barron has sold about $1 billion worth of stock in the two mutual funds that own it to diversify the portfolio. Tesla now accounts for about 12.8% of its fund's assets under management. He said, I think for Tesla, this is the very beginning of what they're doing. Barron recently told CNBC that his firm's investment had ballooned 20-fold since acquiring $380 million in Tesla stock. Now $6.2 billion, the holding represents nearly 13% of Barron Capital's assets under management, making it a highly concentrated position. But Ron remains unconcerned by the size and thinks there's more to come. Barron said, I told you a long time ago that I thought we'd make 20 times our money in Tesla. So far, we've made four times. I now think we're going to make double or triple that again for the next five years, and double or triple that again over the next five years. I think there's 10 times more to go in Tesla before I have to even think about this, if we're right. Billionaire investor Ron Barron, whose fund has already made $6 billion on its original Tesla investment, expects the shares will continue to skyrocket for the next 10 years. As early as 2016, Barron predicted Tesla Inc. would become one of the most valuable companies in the world, which it did. This is probably why Barron remains confident in his stance on Tesla stock, regardless of economic issues that may affect stock prices. With Tesla's recent opening of both Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg, Barron expects the automaker to produce 5 million cars per quarter a decade from now, effectively making the company as large as Toyota and Volkswagen combined. 
the famous investor has always had optimistic views about the leading electric company. In 2020, Barron predicted that Tesla will rocket as high as $3,000 in five years. With the way things are going now, Tesla stock remains in the $700 range. It might not be possible for the company to have a $3,000 price tag by 2025. However, other investors predict the same price tag for Tesla by 2030. Where do you think Tesla and the company's stocks will be by 2030? Let us know what you think by leaving a comment in the comment section below. In an email to CNBC, Barron wrote, This is a huge once-in-a-generation buying opportunity, huge, monstrous opportunity following June 2022, June 2022 crash. Barron recently said that Tesla comfortably surpassed Wall Street's expectations of $2.20 to $2.30 per share and $18 billion in revenue. Moreover, Tesla's operating profit of about $1 billion is greater than what analysts expected it to be. Even 2022 quarter two earnings report of $16.934 billion in revenue revenue is about $400 million more than Wall Street expected and earnings per share of $2.27 versus $1.81 expected by Wall Street. Those who lost faith in Tesla questioned Barron's credibility and wondered whether his words are worth heeding. It can be noted that like today, the 2020 economy was at the bottom due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, 2020 may have been worse with shares down by 40% to 50%. Even at the time, Barron shared that he would like to buy more Tesla stocks. Again, this was at a time when the world has been suffering due to closed borders, supply shortages, and being cooped up at home with no chance of going out. Still, Barron believed that there's still plenty of room for growth for Elon Musk's Tesla and SpaceX companies. It is presumed that Barron sees the current fluctuation in stock prices, including Tesla's, as an opportunity like he did in 2020 and a much more distant past. Barron compared the current situation to early in his career, when he founded Barron Capital in 1982. He noted that the early 1980s represented another time when markets crashed in the wake of an aggressive Federal Reserve, which was trying to get inflation under control. He shared that his two sons, who are also investors, now have the same chance he did when he founded Barron Capital, a New York City-based investment management firm known for its long-term investment strategies in 1982, when the Dow Jones Industrial fell to 880 in a bear market. Tesla bulls see a brighter future for the company from here on. With numerous innovative projects lined up, experts foresee a huge soar in profits for the EV company. By 2030, experts predict a bigger energy business, a vehicle for every market segment, full self-driving or FSD availability in the market, and customers earning money with their Tesla products. While the numerous Tesla factories have finally ramped up production to achieve the aforementioned goals, more gigafactories are needed. Luckily, costs per factory are declining rapidly, and construction and ramping only takes about a year now, so in 10 years, we can reasonably expect a minimum of 10 extra gigafactories, likely even more than that as Musk plans to 50x the current output from its gigafactories. Future profit margins on car sales should continue to increase significantly as production processes are further optimized. Even software-like margins seem possible once full self-driving is released, from robo-taxi fees, auto-bidder fees, as well as an in-car app store for entertainment purposes, since the driver no longer has to pay attention to the road and has this big, beautiful screen in front of him. More than that, Tesla has only just started building out its battery production line and R&D lab, and yet they have already developed a battery that will only degrade 10% in 1 million miles, after which it can still be used in grid storage solutions until it is finally recycled. It further seems possible that Tesla's energy business will have reached a size comparable to that of their car division by 2030, as Musk expects. The only way you can possibly believe and possibly come up with a good opinion is to go do the research yourself. Legendary investor Ron Barron said, You can't rely on other people telling you what to buy or what to sell. Such wise words from a wise investor himself should be heeded by investing enthusiasts. Make sure to visit our channel and watch our other videos for more Tesla stock content.